With the holidays coming up, if you are somebody that has a currently pending criminal case and you're out on bond, you might be wondering what you can and can't do. Specifically, can you travel while you're out on bond? So that's what we're talking about in this week's video, so stick around. Happy Friday, everybody. Hope you're having a great week and gearing up for another good weekend. Now, one of the questions that I get very often, or actually I should say one of the sets or series of questions that I get very often is after somebody gets arrested and they bond out of jail, how do they know what they can and can't do? Can they travel? Can they leave the state? Can they leave the country? Can they drink alcohol? Can they go to parties, you know, those sort of things. They all want to know what they can and can't do and where to find those rules because the last thing anybody wants is for somebody's bond to get revoked, they get rearrested and put back in jail and have to post a new bond. Nobody wants that. It's no fun. So how do you know what the rules are? Well, there are typically two places, two main places that you need to look or have your lawyer look to try and determine what you can and can't do. The first is going to be the court order of conditions of bond. It could be called, um, like I just said, the order of conditions of bond. It could just be titled conditions of bond, could be titled bond conditions, whatever it is, there's going to be some document that is signed by the judge that arraigned you, the magistrate judge, most likely, that will set out what the conditions of the bond are. In other words, what the rules are that you must follow. Now, most of the time, these rules, these orders, these conditions are going to be very standard and pretty common sense. Like it's almost always going to be a condition of bond that you not violate the laws of this state or any other state. In other words, don't break any laws. That's a really common sense one that most people should be doing anyway. There's also going to be uh, conditions of bonds such as um, avoid contact with any potential victim or witness in this, potential witness in this case. There may be a condition that says abstain from the use of any and all alcohol. There will certainly be a bond condition that says abstain from the use of any illicit uh, narcotic drugs without a valid prescription, right? Um, so that document is really going to be the thing that controls for the most part. Now, again, one of the most common questions I get is, can I travel while I'm on bond? Well, if that bond condition order, if the conditions of bond laid out in that order are silent, as to travel restrictions, then there are no legal restrictions on you traveling. There may be a travel restriction in those conditions. It may say that your travel must be restricted to the county where the case is pending or the state where the case is pending without prior um, approval or permission granted by pretrial services or the court. So look carefully and see if that is a rule that is listed. So that's the first place you go. You go to that conditions of bond form, you figure out what rules the judge actually set in order for you to follow, okay? The second place that you need to go and determine where what the rules are is if you used a bondsman to post your bond. In other words, if you did not just pay cash to get out of jail, but instead you used a bondsman, that relationship between you and the bondsman is contractual in nature, meaning it is a contract in which the bondsman promises to do certain things and you promise to do certain things. What the bondsman promises is, I promise I will put the money up for uh, you to get out of jail. And I promise I will not remove that money and make you go back to jail as long as you hold up your end of the bargain. What you promise is going to vary greatly between bondsmen, right? Because at least here in the state of Texas, bondsmen are free to set whatever conditions or rules they would like to in order to feel secure in their investment of that bond money. So some of those bondsmen will have travel restrictions. Some bondsmen will say, you're not allowed to leave the state without telling me first. Some bondsmen will say, you must avoid 
areas of uh, where alcohol is served, you know, as a majority of their business. So you have to avoid bars, right? You have to avoid um, hanging out with people who are also uh, currently pending criminal charges or that have been under indictment, or you may, it may say that you can't hang out with people who are convicted felons. These are all rules that bondsmen could set. So check the, the agreement between you and your bondsman, or even better, just call your bondsman and ask what the rules are and make sure you're clear on them. So those are the two different places you need to look to determine what rules you should be following while your case is pending. Now, in terms of the bond conditions, if there's something in there that you don't like, there are motions that your lawyer can file to try to change those, but that's a topic for another video. So as always, I really hope this helps answer and bring uh, at least some insight to this issue. Just like anything else, it's complicated. I could talk on this for a lot longer, but this will hopefully give you just kind of the bare bones basics. Join me on Sunday night as I live stream some video gaming over on Twitch so we can talk about this or anything else. Any other topics that you want to see me raise in these videos, I'm happy to talk about there or post a video about over here. I look forward to seeing you guys all next week. Thank you for watching. Please uh, hit this video with a like and a subscribe because that really does help me know if these videos are working and doing what they're supposed to do. Um, so it lets me know to keep making them. So I look forward to talking to you guys again next week. Until then, I want everybody out there to be good and stay on the right side of the bars.